The deepest part of who you are is not your hair, it's not your eyes, it's not your personality, it's not what you do and what, not what you don't do. It's your spirit that God put in you. Our battle is not against flesh and blood, it's actually against the spiritual things that are happening. That's why prayer is so, so important. If we don't know we're in a spiritual battle, you know what happens if we don't know we're in a battle? You're losing. Hi, welcome to Soma Q&A. My name is Haley Graves, and today I have with me Pastor Kelly McCoy. He is the college and young adult pastor here at Rocky Peak. Kelly, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. So what do you say to someone who's saying, oh, so you're saying that because I don't believe what you believe. Oh, yeah. You're telling me that that's what's going to happen to yeah. me. Yeah. Um, yeah, if someone were to come to me, you know, a Jewish person or you know, whatever, a Buddhist, or, and they just said, hey Kelly, if I don't believe in Jesus, are you telling me that I'm going to hell? I would say, it's not, it's not my idea, it's not my thoughts, it's not my opinion. I, I'm just telling you what Jesus says, right? And Jesus says in, the, in John, says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except by me. So I'm, I'm not telling you my opinion. I'm telling you the opinion of, of Jesus, right? Jesus the Christ. Jesus the one who came to earth, who split B.C. into A.D. The one that we measure time by. The historical Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm just telling you what he says. And guess what? Everybody is betting their life on one thing. Everyone is betting their life on one thing. Atheists are betting their life that God does not exist. Buddhists are betting their life that Buddha is right. But I'm betting my life that Jesus is telling the truth, mm. that Jesus is not a liar. And when he says that I am the truth, I am the way, and I am the life, I believe him. And when he says no one comes to the Father except by me, I believe him. It's not my opinion. This is Jesus' opinion. And I'm betting my life that Jesus isn't a liar. Yeah. And I mean, I think it's even Paul who says that, if I'm wrong, like if what I believe is wrong, I'm to be pitied most totally. out of anybody, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's really easy to get hung up on the like, on hell. But what, like, but what is the promise that we do have through Jesus, through through a faith in Him? Because I think, I think sometimes, yeah. yeah. Even, even as a Christian, I get caught up on things I shouldn't be doing or should be doing or blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah. But like, what, bottom line, what, what does it mean to have a relationship yeah. with Jesus? Yeah, so the bad news is, is that Jesus is the only way. The good news is, Jesus is the only way, <laughs> right? And so the greatest thing is, is that God has provided a way to be in his presence, and that's through Jesus Christ, right? And that's great news, if you've chosen to follow Jesus. It's also great news if you're listening today for the first time. Like, like maybe this is the audience's opportunity to let Jesus be their king. Mm -hmm. To come under his authority and say, God, your will, not mine. Because the hellbound anthem is my will be done, not thy will be done. But maybe there's somebody listening today that says, you know, I've been living life on my own. And maybe I need to let Jesus be the leader of my life today. And I'm hoping that they would make that decision. So, Kelly, um, like you were talking about, there may be some people at home watching who, who they're like, I, I, I do want to live my life for Jesus. I'm, I'm tired of being in control. I'm, I'm, a, bad, I'm a bad king of my life. Yeah. I keep messing it up. Um, for those people, like, could you lead them in a, a prayer right now of what that yeah. would look like? Yeah, yeah I would love to. Um, so if you're at home and, and maybe you've never given your life to Jesus, uh, I just want you to know that <laughs> there, you're in a good place, that God um, wants to meet you where you're at. And he came, he brought his son Jesus to earth to die the death that we all deserved so that we can have the life that he intended us to live. And if you want to give your life to Jesus, I want to pray with you right now. Just say, dear Jesus, thank you for loving me and dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for rising to new life, thus giving me new life. I'm so sorry for what I've done, and I receive your forgiveness today. I ask that you lead me both now and forever. Jesus, thank you 
for giving me new life and giving me, new, <laughs> giving me a new father. And most importantly, thank you for giving me a new family. I choose to give my life to you from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Kelly, thank you so much for coming and talking with us today about a hard topic that's uncomfortable um, and not easy. And thank you so much for being a good leader here at Rocky Peak and starting this conversation about heaven and hell. Um, and for those of you guys at home, if you have more questions, I know I have more questions that we just don't have time for today. And probably some of you are even struggling and wrestling. That's great. If you want to continue this conversation, please text the SOMA hotline number at 949-791-9377. Again, that's 949-791-9377. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much, Kelly, for being here today.